What's good, home skillets? So this is a short update video on why the build's kind of taken long, but not long, but also kind of why I haven't uploaded anything recently. I've kind of been like really not depressed. I'm not going to, you know, make it sound worse than what it is. I've been a little upset because I uh, bent several rods. Here's one. Let me show you guys all the rods that are bent. So we got one rod, two rods, three rods, four rods that are bent, five rods that are bent. You can tell this rod's bent. Look at the unevenness. It's, this is a really bad example of this piston. I just know it's bent because I pressed it out improperly. But this snap-on straight edge told me that I have bent rods. These three rods over here are not bent. Not bent. From what I visually saw using the snap-on straight edge, those are Gucci still. I have a full set of bad rods. And I'm going to show you home skillets, how I checked for that. Some of them are visually bent. Some of them, you have to use a tool to see how bent they actually are. So, here's one. You can't really tell that it's bent. It's not that bad. But when you put that straight edge on it, it's kind of hard to tell, but I'm able to I'm able to rock it. You could probably see it on this side a little bit better. And that's bent just enough to make me uncomfortable. That's a light bend. Y'all want to see some super bent rods? I don't remember which one was more visually bent. This one's pretty bent. Let's check that one too. Just to show you guys how sad I was when I found out that these were all bent. So look cool it's all Gucci now look at that gap peep that gap hold up peep that gap homies look at this when I when I press down that's how much gap I got and that's supposed to be uniform and I know that the rod width is the same from pin down from uh, small end to big end. So there's an issue right there with that one. Oh wait, there's more. This is literally the worst one out of all of them. And y'all are about to see this. This rod is so bent, it makes me cringe. So peep this crap. If that ain't a bent rod, hold up, we gotta focus on this. If that ain't a bent rod home skillets, I don't know what is. Look at that. That is terrible. And it's flat on that side, so it's literally bent the other way. Let me flip it so you guys can. Man, I'm not digging the, uh... oh, there we go. I don't know what's up, what's up with my uh, phone focus, but here we go. Look at this. Look at how bent that is. See, that's how bent it is. Boom. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Bent, son. And here's the last rod. And I really thought, home skillets, that I had got this down packed because you know I wanted to I wanted to try to press them out and the press myself that's why they have machine shops but knowing me the do the do-it-yourselfer guy I am the DIY man that I am I really wanted to give it a shot and I realized that it's a lot harder than I thought so this is a learning experience at the expense of perfectly fine engine parts and yeah that one's pretty freaking effed up too man sorry for my abbreviated language but this kind of got me a little tight homies because i spent not much time pressing these out but i really didn't think that uh bending a rod was a thing like that in a hydraulic press silly me i learned the hard way